everyone i hope everyone is doing well in this video we will learn what is the difference between truss and frame right so truss what is truss truss is a structure that composed of slender members joined at their ends and no member of this structure is taken to be continuous member this is like the definition of a truss but this is not the complete definition we made some assumption to it also so once we made that those assumption and with this definition it completely describe the truss and with those assumption we can differentiate the truss from the frame now truss is a structure composed of slender member slender member is a member which has more length the length of that member must be more than the cross section area of the cross section of the uh, member like if i have this uh, marker so the length is more and if you see the cross section is less so this is a slender member truss is a structure and we will apply load to that structure so the first point which we have to keep it in mind in truss the loads are applied at joints only in truss the load applied at joint only so whatever load we are applying to the truss it must be at the joint only because the truss cannot support transverse load between the joint if i have a member like this let's say we will explain in detail but let's say this is a structure which is truss so whenever we are applying the load the load must be applied here load must be applied here we cannot apply the load here for the truss so that means that the load applied at joint only while in the frame the members are subjected not only at joint but at some other points also so the load is applied to the frame other than joint so we can apply load to the frame member other than joint like we can apply a load here also this is one point in the frame as we said in the definition of the truss the truss is composed of slender member the truss is always composed of slender member and slender member is a member in which which has more length as compared to the cross section while frame is a combination of slab beam combination of slab beam and we can say column the other point in truss is all the member will be joined together using pin joint so the joints are pin joint pin joint is a joints as we discussed in the previous video which allow movement rotation if i have joined this with pin it will allow the rotation of the member while in the frame the members are connected with fixed joint the members are connected in with fixed joint now the pin joint the main idea are here in the the in the truss is that we have triangle is the base you can say base of the the, the the truss why because triangle is a stable structure how it is a stable structure let's say we we apply a force here there is a chance of the, the member can rotate but if we apply this load this member cannot go here why because then the, the length of this member will restrict the moment while 
in the let's say we do we have a, a four sided member uh, structure as usually we see in frame let's say we have this uh, structure so if i apply the force here or here there is a chance that this shape may become like this there is a chance to avoid that type of movement we can add a diagonal member here if we add the diagonal member then even with the pin joints this will not go in this direction so it will become stable so this is we can say the main thing here also in the truss and frame that the base structure for the truss is triangle we have the diagonal members while in frame sometimes we have and sometimes we don't now in the truss the force is applied will be only axial force the force is applied to the truss will be axial force and these axial forces might be tension or compression while on the other side in frame we can have the forces developed like the forces developed in frame are axial forces it could be shear forces it could be bending forces so we can have axial we could have shear forces and we could have bending forces these three types of forces are possible in frame while in truss only axial forces which are tension and compression so these are the main differences in truss and frame now mainly we will be focusing on truss in this course and some real life example of truss are like the bridges truss bridges you might have seen the antenna towers the mobile towers you might have seen it is a good example of truss crane is a good example of truss and even if you have seen the the international space station the structure is made up of truss so trusses are there also so trusses is a lot of application we will study in this course with the passage of time and our next video will be how we analyze the truss if we have a truss then how we analyze it to find the forces here in each member the axial forces tension and compression so that's it what is the difference of trust the difference between trust and frame and in the next video we will analyze the trust